Oh yeah. I'm gonna get dizzy. Oh man, that's... All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode. We are out in beautiful Montana. <laughs> Big sky country, you know. And man, do we have a beautiful spot. Just look at that. The water, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's super blue and very clear. We'll be getting in that a little bit later. As you guys already saw in the thumbnail, we've got an interesting tent from Acacia that we're gonna be setting up today. And hopefully we're gonna be floating on it. It's a floating tent. <laughs> it's really cool, you guys. All right, I got a bed full of stuff. We'll get her out and unpack it. Get to setting everything up. All right, I got it all unloaded. We've got quite a bit of gear here. This tent uh, comes with a lot of stuff, I'll tell you that. Um, we've got the main floor right here, which is inflatable. And we will inflate that with a hand pump. But I also have an electric pump, which this thing works really well. Then you have the tent itself here and another like awning type thing. If I haven't mentioned it already, this is the Acacia. I think this is called the Space Acacia XL. That's what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we've got our portable pump. This is also from them as well. Uh, it's really nice and handy, actually. It works really well. You don't even have to plug it in. It, it carries its own little power charge. So we will pump this thing up turn it on it says do not exceed 10 psi or 0.67 bar so that's what we will do we'll go up to we'll do like 8 psi 9 no we'll go 8 no how about 7 we'll go 7 we'll go 7 to start the little pump does really well it's really quiet right now but it'll kick on the compressor here in a minute um, we're not even up to one PSI yet. We're at 
0.57 so far. I'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes to pump this up with that thing. There goes the compressor. All right, it just turned off. We made it to our seven PSI. Um, also, we have this little rib right here that we need to pump up too. It goes pretty quick. All right, so that took about 17 minutes to pump this thing up. Um, that's, uh, that's a good chunk of time, really. Um, what I would probably do next time is I would inflate this thing to about two to three PSI with that electric pump. And then I would just use my hand pump because these hand pumps are so effective, very effective, and actually work really well. So the next time I pump this thing up, that's what I'll do. Okay, now we need to go inside and pop it up. Oh. Ah. Okay, there it is. So, here we go. Just got to shove her up. Ah. That was easy. <laughs> so we want to lift the tent over the top of this little ledge. So lift it up over the top. This is what gives us our water barrier, basically. So when we put this on the water, we'll just seal it up like this. Velcro it around, and we should be watertight. Oh man, I gotta open these windows, it's hot. I'm so hot, you guys. Oh. All right, now we just take this rubber barrier and we just Velcro it to the side of the tent. It's fairly simple. Got to make sure that we have a nice barrier just in case any water gets into our tent. We don't want that. Looking good. All right, now all we got to do is install our like door supports. They're just a couple of little rods that you stick around the door. There's a orange tab here, orange tab on the bottom and then you just strap around it. Pretty simple. That way you have a little bit of door support over here. Now make sure you do that on all four corners to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, so then the last thing we do is we just strap it down. I already went ahead and did that. There's these little buckles on each corner that you just go ahead and connect and tighten down. All right, we're looking good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, rain fly, even though I know I'm not gonna get any rain, just to show you guys. Now there's a couple of these little rods that you gotta put in some pockets up top. So you stick these rods in here. That kind of gives you a little bit of an awning. All right, there we have it, you guys. All set up. Looks pretty good.
Space Acacia XL. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Will it float? That's the question. Now, before you comment on the color that I've got, there are many other colors that you can pick. I did not personally pick this color. Um, it was just sent to me this way. But there's a ton of other colors out there. I mean, a lot. They've got a ton of different colors. Um, my wife actually really likes this color. I'm just not really a huge fan of it. It's uh, too baby blue for me, I guess. I don't know. But it is what it is. And it looks pretty fancy. <laughs> now the wind is picking up a little bit. So we'll get it out there, see if it'll float. I do have some anchors, so we're going to anchor it out there and maybe do a little fishing. And also, I created something. All right, safety first, you know. You never know what'll happen out there. <sighs> I wanted to show you this. It is my propeller for my tent boat. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> That's gonna propel us, at least for a little bit, I think, as long as the battery holds out. Let's go. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna motor, motor out there. I think it's the easiest way to do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> See here, I gotta figure out how to kind of operate this. Chop your foot off, Kenny. Okay, I think we're gonna anchor it right there. We'll anchor it. I just would hate to uh, get too far. Okay, don't lose it. Oh, oh, that's heavy. Oh, don't get rope right. Okay, we've hit bottom. We're good. I'm not really sure how to tighten it because it's kind of in a precarious spot, you know? So this one, we gotta throw overboard. Right here. I'm gonna throw this one overboard. I figure I'll just throw it out like this. Kind of stuff it out there. Make sure it opens up. I think it's open. Ooh, rope burn. Hit bottom. All right, we'll just leave that there then, I guess. If it wants to peel off more rope, it will. We're floating, you guys, we're floating. That's a good thing. Floating's good, sinking's bad. <laughs> Let's try standing in this. Ooh. Okay. I gotta get my sea legs. Oh, and it's a little slippery. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is nice. This is really nice. I gotta say, this is pretty cool and relaxing, actually. I'm moving around pretty good in here. I'm still trying to get my sea legs because every time you step, it's like kind of like jello. It like shifts. 
don't mind my uh, my uh, suntanned uh, feet. We're floating good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Easy, easy, Kenny. Okay, sit down. This is nice. Nice and relaxing. I could totally see sleeping on this. I don't know that I'm going to tonight just for the fact that uh, I just wanted to see if it would float, I guess, first and foremost. Um, if anything, maybe I would anchor it to the dock or something and then maybe sleep on it overnight. But I think I'd rather have somebody here with me. <laughs> uh, just kind of one of those safety factors, you know. So I'll probably end up pulling it back up there. But as far as just relaxing in a tent, like this is a this is a nice thing. This is a good summer tool, I'll tell you that. Go to the lake, set this up, take the family out, sit on it, enjoy it. You could even jump off this. I'm sure, I'm, I don't know if I'd be able to climb back up on here. I'd feel like a beached whale, but <laughs> it could be fun. Sure could be fun. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How cool would it be to be able to catch a fish Oy. from this? So I'm, I need to find a, like something that's kind of a wormish or something that can just drop straight down. I didn't bring much out here. Little grub looking thing. Okay. Easy, kid. Easy. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. We're dropping her straight down. It is deep. It is deep. Sweet is my location, sweet as well my destination. If you're looking to begin, then look no further than within. I'm satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. I'm moving on. Hey you guys, this is working. This is working pretty good. This is pretty cool. Hopefully I've got all my anchors. She's full of dirt and sand. Oh boy. Yeah, 
know this isn't really good on my back. I know that you guys know that I already have some back problems. That's why I've been out for a little bit, but uh, trying to strengthen it up. Uh, but I don't think this is really working. <laughs> We're strengthening it up. Uh, uh, uh. That thing got muddy. Pretty muddy down there. Actually, it's a good sign. It's a good sign for fish. I kind of like those sandy areas. Oh. Oh. Ew. Okay. That's what I wanted to get off there. Don't fall and get it. Oh. Oh. We're drifting. Oh, we're going fast. Oh no. Drill sounds like it's slowing down. Doesn't have the juice that it had before. That's dead. Oh, it's time to hopefully paddle back this way. I think I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. This is easy. I don't have too much wind right now. Ooh, ooh, careful. Okay. There we go. How about being smart, Kenny? Be a little smarter. I wasn't sure how much battery I was gonna have. I charged it, but it's an old battery, so. You never know. I did bring the charger, so I could charge it up again. Guess we'll find out. We did it. <laughs> safe works really well but gotta have the batteries and if I would have had a spare that'd be great but it did keep me going for a little bit but not as long as I would want it to All right, you guys, it's time for some dinner. I'm super hungry. Now, this is going to be a subscriber meal because I had 
two packages come to me with a bunch of like Cajun like meals. I guess that's what you'd call them. Louisiana. Cobbler. Oh man. Bunch of gumbo. Red bean and rice. Some chili. Oh man. So it's really funny because I had two boxes sent to me from different people with this almost the same exact like stuff, except for it's a different brand. <laughs> this one, they like Zatarans. And this one is from Kelly. Kelly sent me all of this stuff. Blackened seasoning. We've got Creole seasoning. We got some Tabasco sauce, gumbo. I already ate the gumbo. I've done that once already. And I'm gonna have this one tonight. We're gonna do another gumbo tonight. So I'll set that aside. But boy, all types of stuff, you guys. Fish fry, red beans and rice, jambalaya, red bean and rice, jambalaya. It's actually really comical because they're almost identical. So this package here was sent to me by Cheryl, I believe. We'll see. Yep, Cheryl Gorham. Very nice card, thank you. I got Louisiana Life. <laughs> Gumbo, I already ate this one. It was good. We've got some chili. Sweet treat. It's like uh, chocolate sugar. Interesting. We've got Creole. Tabasco. Cobbler. Chicken fry. Fish fry. And we've got this gumbo mix here. Oh man. I'm so excited to try all of this stuff. You both had the same exact idea. It was really funny. It's really funny to me. Zatarans, Louisiana. I'll let you guys decide which one's best. Ooh, that's gonna be good. We'll add a little bit of butter to that too. Just for fun. Just to bring out those flavors, you know. Oh yeah, they're looking good now. Look at the crispiness. Throw in our sausage here. And then we'll throw in our shrimpers. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be good, you guys. Look at that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Thank you guys so much for sending this to me. Also, I had some other mail come in. I've got this Shake On barbecue seasoning from Strawberries. This was sent to me by Eric. I have yet to try it, but I will try it for sure. It smells amazing too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It smells really good. Also, I got a mug from Michelle Dancer. This says Back 40 Campground. That's pretty cool. I kind of refer to my back property as the Back 40. And so she sent me this because of that, which I think is really cool. I like it. It's a nice solid mug. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Also, I got a painting from Riley Finch. Check it out, I already framed it. <laughs> Good job, Riley. Looks really cool. I like it. Camping. Oh, it's a hot tent with trees. Oh yeah, my favorite. 
you know what my favorite is. Anyways, thank you guys for sending me stuff. I really do enjoy it. All right, back to cooking. We are ready to serve up some gumbo. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, yeah. I think I'll take the spoon and grab some other shrimp and whatnot. Look at that gumbo. Guys, this is really good. Really, really good. Like, it's hitting everything that I wanted tonight. <laughs> oh, beautiful place. Beautiful weather. It was hot. It was hot. But um, I think tomorrow maybe I'll jump in the water. We'll see what temperatures are like. But yeah, definitely a good gumbo right there. Mm. Has some heat too. Got me sweating a little bit. Actually, my nose is more running than anything else, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying to get everything cleaned up. I sure did make a big mess. It happens. Well, it's currently 9.50, but I'm on Montana time. So at home, it's only 8.50. It's an hour ahead over here. I still got quite a bit of light you can't really tell, but I definitely do. But I'm tired, you guys. I'm definitely tired. So I'm going to get picked up, and then we'll get into the tent. I might throw down that, uh, that little floor mat. I cleaned it up in there already, so we'll see. I got the, uh, the floor in, it's nice and soft, it feels good actually, it warmed it up quite a bit, oh man the, uh, the little plastic floor is kind of cold, 
So that's going to make it nice for sure. All right, so I got to get the uh, bedding in here. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm not going to bring a ton of stuff in here. So looking at the tent, I noticed this, which looks like could be a vent for like air conditioning. And what do you know? We got an air conditioner. So maybe the next time I try this out, maybe I'll bring that uh, air conditioner with me and see how well this thing will work. That's kind of cool. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, we do have a couple of pockets kind of all over the place. Things to hang stuff. I did have some sort of light that they sent me, but it was kind of like a tube light, but it didn't work. I don't know. Not a whole lot to set in this up because I'm not even going to use a uh, sleeping pad. No need. I've got a uh, inflatable mattress below me already. Well, I was sitting here just looking outside and it looks like the moon's coming up and I think it's supposed to be like a super moon or something. I can't remember exactly, but it's supposed to be a big one, I think. So we'll see. I'll see if I can capture it um, as it comes up over the hill. And there is a little bit of clouds and stuff out there, so I don't know. I don't know if it'll turn out or not, but it looks pretty cool already. Now the red could be coming from a little bit of smoke in the air because when I was out here earlier, I was seeing ash actually fall down. I think there's some on the tent at least. It was kind of crazy. I know there's a couple fires around us, hence why I'm not having any fires tonight. So, all right, I can't quite, uh, quite get a good picture of it. I'm trying here. Let's see. We've got our settings on. See what happens. Take a picture. Wow, it looks really cool. It's just you don't have uh, you don't have all the detail of the moon. Cause I mean, it looks so cool. Bummer. Uh, let's see if I can. Wow. Looks really cool. All right, you guys, I am in bed. It is currently 1117 Montana time. So it's 10 o'clock at home, but I'm definitely tired. It was a long, exhausting day. It was a four hour drive for me and then setting everything up and it was hot. So it really drained it out of me. So I'm definitely ready for bed. Well, I went ahead and set up the trail cam. We'll take a look at it real quick see what i can see out of it wow you can see the moon that was a big moon you guys it was really big Let's see what happens if i hit play or record i think i definitely need new batteries on that thing it's just not very bright right now let's see what happens if i take a picture switch to picture mode 
see what happens there. I need new batteries for sure. That's not very good. Alright. Well, there you go. That is the trail cam. I don't know that we'll see anything. I did hear something big back there when I was cooking dinner. I don't know if it was like moose trying to come down through or not, but never know. Might see a moose. So I do think I'll watch a movie tonight or at least attempt to. Uh, I found this one called Brotherhood. It sounded pretty good. It says in 1926, a band of teenage boys arrived at their long, arrived at Long Point Camp for the adventure of their lives. When their canoe capsizes in a freak summer storm, their holiday descends into a soul-shuddering fight for survival. Sounds pretty interesting. It says frightening and gritty. <laughs> oh, sounds fitting, you know. I was just out there floating. And, uh, well, nothing happened to me, but boy, sounds like something happens to these guys. <laughs> we'll see if it's a good movie or not. I'll let you guys know in the morning if I watch the whole thing. So we'll see. <sighs> all right, you guys. I'm going to sign off. I will see all of you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning man it's, it's a bit chilly out there <sighs> I had to put on my sweatshirt and bundle up because got down into the 40s it's kind of chilly <laughs> oh well there's a bunch of road noise out there uh, that's unfortunate but understandable everybody's got to get to work you know and I gotta get to work. I wanna get out there on the water and maybe uh maybe we'll have breakfast out there while the sun comes up over the hill. What do you say? Let's do it. Now I just gotta figure out how to get up. Come on. Oh here we go. Okay. We'll get out there and uh, put this thing on the water again and cook some breakfast. Coffee. First coffee. This floor is cold. Oh, oh, oh man, it's cold. Really cold. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Now I did bring a SUP board, so we're gonna do that today. I'll probably get it out there and uh, kind of help me paddle out there. And then I can come back to shore if I have to. All right, that sun's starting to come up. I didn't quite make it out there on time, but we'll still be able to get out there and enjoy ourselves. Ah, oh, it's beautiful out here. All right, let's get this thing on the water. Wow, the water is surprisingly warm. Feels great. Let's do it. We'll just get out here and anchor. That's all we're gonna do. Thinking probably right here for the anchor. Oh my God. Okay, we're anchored out. Here we are, you guys. Oh, beautiful. I got my SUP board attached, so I can kind of go in a circle around this, I guess, if I want to, which maybe I will do that. Let's see. Oh, I'm forgetting some stuff. I'm gonna have to go back to the shore. Okay, back to the shore we go. I think I got all the things I need, so we will go back. I don't know if I have my, my legs for today, so I'll just kind of kneel for now. It's a little easier anyway. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
It is time for some coffee, you guys. We'll enjoy ourselves a cup of coffee out here on the lake. <laughs> all I need for this right now. Make sure no flammable stuff is in our way. Okay, so now I gotta sit really, really still. I know, I know, bad idea. We're just gonna boil the water real quick. We'll be okay. And then we're gonna cook breakfast, which, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I mean, it's pretty stable. As long as I just sit here, not move. We're gonna enjoy some Nicaragua coffee. This is another one of those instant pour overs or single serve pour over. This one I got from Thomas Hammer, if you guys have Thomas Hammer in your area. They make some good coffee. Perfect. Oh, oh yeah. All right, let's shut this thing off. Oh yeah. That's gonna be some good coffee. Nice cup of Nicaraguan coffee. That's gonna be good in the morning. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. That's good right there. <laughs> ah. Ain't nothing like a cup of coffee floating. Well, I'm not really sure what I want to do just yet. I don't know if I really want to cook bacon on that that burner. Bacon and eggs. <laughs> um, maybe I'll go grab the other uh, the other burner and a table and bring it out here and and see if that would uh, be better. I just need it to be a little more stable. Being that I'm out here floating. Wow, water is so blue. I'm gonna have to get a video of it. I can't say it's actually blue, it's kind of green, but regardless, it's beautiful. Okay, we're set there. Wonder what the weight limit is on this thing. Ah, we're fine. We're perfectly fine. Okay. Should be good to go. Uh, oi. 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 Oh, I didn't spill my coffee, did I? Hmm. Just one. tall so we're just gonna go like that oh, got our burners just really want some bacon and eggs out on the water you know people do this on their boats all the time come on we're fine all right let's get that bacon in there first
We're good. We're good. We'll make some bacon and eggs. Got my painting up there. Thank you for the painting. Makes it look nice in here. Don't you think? <laughs> I wonder if I can sit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right. We're getting her. I'm going to get grease all over this thing. Oh no, I don't want that. We'll be good. We'll be good, guys. Don't worry about it. We'll be just fine. I love my cup. It's really cool. I'm going to drink this coffee so I don't spill it. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Yeah, the loons they sound so cool i love the loons oops got a little crispy that's okay crispy bacon Oh boy, look at that. Two eggs, two bacon. You got it coming right up. How do you like your eggs? Cooked in grease? <laughs> so good for you. Oh, look at those eggs though. It's a nice looking egg. Both of them. Look at that. Bacon and eggs. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this time, Lord. I just thank you for the opportunity to come out here and just witness your creation. You just create such amazing things, and I just thank you, and I cannot praise you enough for it. Lord, I continue to ask for your guidance in these times. Lord, help us to be a strong witness for you in everything that we do. I thank you for this food, and I just pray you'll bless it to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Oh man, look at that, you guys. Look at it. Bacon and eggs. Curious about this bacon. Oh, it is a little crispy, but it's chewy too. Oh, that's good. That's the way I like my bacon. I like a little crispy, but chewy. I don't like it to just snap and kind of crumble, you know. Oh, and that egg, perfectly cooked egg right there, the way I like it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Beautiful view. Beautiful meal. Beautiful day, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Handy dandy rod holder there. All right, let's do this.
got our set board back there. Good. Coming in for a landing. Woo. Oh yeah. All right, I got everything packed up. I'm ready to go. Man, you guys, that tent was amazing. I had so much fun on it. It is so cool that you can get out there on the water and just enjoy yourself. So if you guys want to know more about it, there will be a link in the description down below. So go check it out, you guys. All the details and whatnot. So I just want to say thank you to Acacia for sending out to me to test it out, show you guys. I had a ton of fun. All right, I need to hit the road. I've got a four hour drive ahead of me. Get home to see the family. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode.